Do you want to join the Fediverse? Hi, after the purchase of Twitter by Elon Musk, Mastodon open source alternative gained a lot of traction and visibility. This time it's Reddit and crazy API pricing that helped Lemmy to gain a lot of exposure. Lemmy is a bit different from Reddit in that it's federated via ActivityPub. This means that users have the freedom to choose their own instances, creating diverse communities that can interact and share content seamlessly across different platforms. It empowers decentralization. In this video, we will learn how to install and configure an instance of Lemmy and what are the available features, but also how to get started from a user perspective willing to join the Fediverse. In Lemmy documentation, you can find different options to install it. For example, with Docker, Ansible, AWS, or even from scratch. Together, we'll see how to install Lemmy in one click on our fully managed service platform, LSTO. Go to ls.io, hit login, deploy my first service, search for Lemmy, select, select your cloud provider. I will choose Scaleway, select the region where you want to deploy it and the service plan with the resources you need, hit next. Select your level of support, and once you're happy with it, hit Create Service. I received an email telling me that my instance is ready. There is also an instruction to tell me how to add a custom domain to my instance, because if I want to create a community, it's better to leave the lsto.app and have my own custom domain. To access our instance, click here to get the password. We arrive on the administration panel of this specific instance. Copy the password and click here to go on the instance. When we arrive, it's quite empty because we didn't set anything yet, but we will do it together. When our instance is deployed by default, it creates an account and that's the one we copy the password into our clipboard. Admin and the password is in my clipboard. Hit login. We are now connected. We can access uh, the settings of our instance. We can rename the instance name, for example, Super Demo. Upload an icon. I uploaded that good frog. Description set what you need. My Olemi instance. Then you have sidebar and Lego, but you can keep it empty. Then it's more rules about your instance. And this is important in what you want to create. Do you want to enable don't votes or you want it to be mainly positive, not safe for work? How people can register? Is it open, close, only on invitation? You really have a lot of controls to determine the community you want to create. And that's uh, the main difference with Reddit, where you don't have that uh, fine control. By default, because it's in the Fediverse, the instance is public, which means what you will create inside will be discoverable outside. But if you want to have a private community, like your Reddit, your own Reddit, but it's your Lemmy, you just have to check private instance, but I will keep it unchecked. Then you have federation enabled. This is if you want to have access to the outer world from your instance. Do you want to be able to browse content from outside your instance or only your uh, content? You can give access to some specific instances with load instances. So you will have only access to them, or you can just have access to everything and block specific instances that don't fit what you think is uh, good. And then you have some more technical settings, the rate limit per second, so you avoid spam. You also can add tagline, but let's save it for now. Now, if we jump into communities, we have nothing yet. And that's where you can be lost your first time into the Fediverse or Lemmy particularly. We've already quickly seen the documentation to see the different ways of installation we have, but they also provide useful guides for administrator to know how to set up your instance more in depth, like what I just show you, and for users, so you know how to uh, interact with others, how to join communities and all of this stuff. There is uh, this nice website to browse a Lemmy community. It's named browse.fedit.de. From here, you have a list of most used communities. You can click here to copy the link to the instance, or you can search for developers and you will have all the related communities. A good way to connect your instance to another instance is, for example, to go to an existing post on another Lemmy instance. 
I will take this post from us, from LSTO, on our own instance. I go back to my instance, I go to search, and here I can paste the URL of this post. And because they are connected through the Fediverse, I can click here and I have access to this post from my own instance of Lemmy. Of course, this works because our instance is not private and we enabled the Fediverse mode. Before jumping to the content, if we look at the right part, you can see that our post we did on LSEO was created on lemmy.ml, the one of the biggest instances. What we can do is access to it, but by clicking this link, it redirects me to the real instance. It's not anymore my test instance. But if I go back to my own instance, if I go to communities, in local, I didn't create yet a community, but because I browse content from outside, I can see it in the list of all communities. I can click here. Now I can browse content from lemmy.ml inside my own instance of lemmy. It can be tricky at the beginning, but it's very powerful to create the field that correspond to what you want to see. Okay, now let's create a community inside our instance. Let's name it developers. We will display the name developers. We can add an icon. We have globally the same settings we had for the global instance and hit create. I have an error because I can't put uppercase letters and create. Now, if you're familiar with Reddit, it really looks the Reddit interface. So create a post. I copied an article of dev.2, let's paste it. It automatically suggests a title. I can click and it will set it here. For the body, I can say, look what I found about CSS. Scroll animations. I select the community, if it's safe for work or not. I can define a language, but it's not mandatory. Then I hit create. And here is my post. People can come here and add comments and do same discussion you can do on Reddit. On the right part, you can see one user is online and there is one subscriber, it's me. There's one post, it's the one I just created and you have global stats. Now this post will be able to be discovered by other instances and people can subscribe to your content while you can subscribe to their content as well. We currently used the web application to access to it, but if you go to apps in Lemmy website, you can see there are two applications, one for Android and one for iOS to browse your favorite servers. There are even other web applications. The one we use is Lemmy UI. It looks like a Reddit, but there is Lemmy BB, more a forum based, and Lemmy Lite. And if you scroll down, you can see there are API libraries. And here, the main difference with uh, Reddit is the fact it will never become a paid service like it did for Reddit. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video about Lemmy and will give it a try. If you find our content helpful for the open source community, please hit the like button to help us gain visibility. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss our upcoming videos. If you want to continue discovering great open source alternatives to proprietary software, jump to the next video available here.